custom type extensions in PowerShell. Hi, I'm Don Jones, and you might not find a ton of uses for custom type extensions in your environment, but man, when you do find that one great place to use these things, they are a lifesaver. Let me give you a little crash course on these dudes. So these type extension files can be a little bit complicated in terms of their syntax, so I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go to PowerShell's home directory, and in Notepad, I'm gonna open types.ps1xml. That's the, the native type extension file. And I'm just gonna grab the beginning and opening tags. I need to make sure I grab this XML tag too. We'll put that on the clipboard, come back here into the ISE, create a new script. I'm gonna go ahead and do a save as on this one. Paste that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take out Microsoft copyright notice. <laughs> Uh, we do need to finish these tags, and these XML tags are case sensitive, so it's really important that you get them right. Now here's the other reason I did this. What I wanna do is add a script method to the string type. So I'm gonna go find in here another example of a script method. Here's one. So I'm just gonna grab this entire extension, everything inside the type tags, copy, should be able to close this now. And then I'm just gonna replace that right in there. So I don't wanna extend a system.service process service controller, I wanna extend the system.string, and I want to just create a script method. So I'm gonna delete everything else, and I'm gonna call this ping. Now, Inside this script method, dollar sign this represents the current object, which is a string. So I'm just gonna add test connection, and I'm gonna give it whatever's in the string and ask it to run in quiet mode. So here we go, I'm gonna save this, and then hop down to the normal shell. So normally, when I have a string, like let's say x equals localhost, if I pipe that to get member, you can see that it is a system.string. There we go, system.string. And it does not have a ping method. It would be in here somewhere. They're usually listed alphabetically. So now let's load my custom type extension. Update type data. I'm gonna append my custom. No error messages is a good sign. That means your XML validated. So let's try piping X to GM again. And now we've picked up the ping script method. So let's try x.ping. Fingers crossed, yay, it worked. x equals not online, x.ping. Just waiting for the ping to time out now. taking it a little while, but there it goes, we got a false. So you can actually add functionality to your own custom types or to PowerShell's built-in types this way. Now there are a few rules. Once you've created a custom type extension, you have to reload it every time you open a new shell. What most people will do is they'll associate a custom type extension with a module. So simply loading the module loads all of the module's code as well as its custom formatting views and its custom type extensions. So that's kind of a little bit more convenient way to do the type extensions. You can have as many type extensions in this file as you want. You're just going to have a separate type section for each one and you can use Microsoft's built-in file, their provided file, to pull examples from so that you can start constructing these on your own without having to memorize the exact XML syntax. I will offer you just one word of warning. When you're in Microsoft's file, if you're perusing it in Notepad or some other editor, do not modify it. I'll show you why. Let's open that same one again. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice that this file carries a digital signature. There it is, begin signature block. This signature block has an encoded version, an encrypted version of the clear file. And if you make any changes, I mean, if you even hit a carriage return in here or add a space character and then save this, 
you will break that signature. This file will stop loading and PowerShell will stop working the way you're used to. So just be careful not to do that. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.